you've never donated blood before, now might be the time. Bloodworks Northwest is here to tell us why the need is so great during the summer. Still ahead, the need for blood is high right now. Why the summer months are especially important when it comes to donating. We'll be right back. Today at KGW, our employees are participating in a blood drive. It's a life-saving effort that's really needed this time of year. Joining me to talk about it is Lauren Reagan. Welcome. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you so much for having me, Lacey. Okay, so, and also thank you for putting on the drive today. <laughs> um, how great is the need right now? So summer months, everyone's out having fun and activities and blood donation is the furthest thing from their mind. And with that, summer activities also bring a lot of trauma cases. Uh, so with that, where you're experiencing a blood shortage and we expect it to only get worse if we don't get donors to come out. So it's a, really two reasons there. Not yeah. only are people distracted, but they're out possibly doing dangerous things. <laughs> yeah. Um, there is also something called the 100 deadliest days. What is that? Yeah. So between Memorial Day and Labor Day, that's actually the 100 deadliest days for youth, young adults that are traveling, celebrating. We want to make sure that everyone, um, one is being safe, but when there is an accident, we want to make sure that we have a reliable blood supply to keep everyone safe. Just yesterday at our po Portland hospitals, we had three mass transfusion protocols called, and those are not typical. Then we had two simultaneously and a third, all within yesterday morning. So that prompted us to have to do an emergency shipment mid-morning of additional units of O-positive blood from our center in Portland, or Renton down to Portland hospitals, just so that the hospitals can make it through the week. Wow, but you said that is unusual. But that is unusual, but, yeah. but with low but donor happen. turnout, it's, you know, we're looking at people that need blood transfusions for surgeries, childbirth, or even cancer patients, they're gonna be put, you know, on the back burner until we can stabilize. Yeah. Um, what is your message to people who might have a possible venue for a blood drive if they wanna host a blood drive? Yeah, so our location that's based out of Vancouver and our mobile team is looking to kind of double down our efforts, be involved in the community. So if you have a venue that you would like to host, either an indoor or our mobile um, blood bus, please give me a call because I'm the one that does all the scheduling and we will come out and uh, hopefully be able to host and like open up the doors to the community. Yeah. Are there plans for more donor centers in the area? Yes. So very exciting news as we want to make it more accessible for people to come out and donors. And we have amazing donors over in the Beaverton Hillsborough area. So we're excited to announce coming this fall, we are opening um, a fixed blood center in Beaverton. That's great. Yeah, we're very excited. Yeah, nice. Um, there are some, still some questions about who can give blood. Um, for instance, people are wondering if there is a deferral if you've received a COVID vaccine. Can you give us a brief rundown of the most recent rules? Yeah, so back in 2020, the FDA has been changing on a nonstop basis, trying to make more people eligible. So COVID vaccines, you can donate as long as you are feeling well the day of your donation. And that goes for any vaccines. Uh, you can also donate if you had lived in England during the early 80s, 90s, mm -hmm. mad cow deferral was lifted. And we're really excited. So as the FDA updates, please visit our website if you've ever been deferred before and check the eligibility. Got it. Um, and for someone who's never given blood before, what would you tell them? I know a lot of people are nervous. <laughs> I work a lot with high school students and yes. first time donors that are, you know, once they become 16 with a parent's permission, hydrate, make sure you eat a really well ba balanced meal, make sure that you get a good night's sleep the night before. Our Bloodworks team, we are there to talk you through the whole process. And one of my favorite things that we do is that we actually kind of when you're your arm, we mark it with a straw so we can see it ahead of time before the needle stick. So it's always really great because we can, you know, we're we're double and triple checking before we start and we're always checking in with you on how you're feeling. Yeah, good. Um, well, where can people learn more about Bloodworks Northwest? How can they arrange to have a mobile site, uh, you know, van on their site? All that information. Yeah, they can go to bloodworksnw.org and then they can reach out to me directly. Um, my number is 360-607-1154. So you can get ahead of me. Yeah, awesome. Lauren, thanks so much for coming. It's really important work you're doing. Yes, thank you so much for having me. Yes, I really appreciate you. it.